Hey, I'm Krisha. I'm your natural birth trainer. So today I want to talk about baby leaving your pelvis at the time of delivery. Body position and how your legs are are extremely important to help your baby navigate the bottom of the pelvis. So your femurs are attached into the pelvis right here and when moms are trying to birth a baby, they actually try to rotate their knees in which causes the sit bones to rotate further apart. We are constantly coached in most environments to keep our knees wide. And when we try to rotate our knees in, we're coached, wide knees, wide knees, don't let them come together. Well, moms are actually rotating their knees together for a reason, to create space for baby to exit the pelvis. So here's what I mean. When we lay on our back and our knees are wide, it causes the sit bones to be closer together. That's longer labor, longer pushing, and increased chance of tearing. Moms are trying to do this to make room for the baby to come out. So if you end up birthing on your back, let the knees rotate in. There's a reason for that so the baby can exit the pelvis. If you're birthing on your side, you decide to roll on your side, same thing. If your knees are wide, sit bones are closer together, narrow pathway. Rotate the knees in. That's an internal rotation of the femurs that creates the space. And for those of us who like to birth on hands and knees, it's the same thing. Knees wide causes the sit bones to get closer together. When you bring the knees closer together and rotate the ankles out, those sit bones get further apart. So when you have the sit bones, that internal rotation of the femurs to be wider, it is less labor, less pushing, decreases the chances of tearing, and your baby can cross the finish line naturally.